Hello friends, this video on applications of trigonometry part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1. Let's take an example. A contractor plans to install two sliders for the children to play in the park. For the children below 5 years, he prefers to have a slider whose top is of height 1.5 meter, inclined at 30 degree. For elder children, she wants to have a steeper slide, height is 3 meter and angle is 60 degree. What is the length of each slide? So let's draw this is the slider, typical slider which you get. So there are two scenarios. In one scenario, the height is uh, 1.5 meter. In another scenario, the height is 3 meter. Also the angle is different and so this length will also differ. So what we can do is draw a triangle on this so that we can get a clear picture. So if you see this is a triangle here now, correct. There are two scenarios, this is theta actually, the angle which makes. So this is theta, there are two scenarios that is 30 degree and 60 degree. There are two scenarios. In one case it is 30, in one case 60. And height also, there are two scenarios. In one case it is 1.5 meter, in one case it is 3 meter. And we have to find this guy length of the slide. So let me draw, there are two keys actually, let me draw in this fashion now here. Case 1 and case 2. Case 1, the height is 1.5 meter. This is for age 5 year minus. The height is 1.5 and the angle is 30 degree. In case 2, the height is 3 meter and the angle is 60 degree. We have to find this length actually in both the case L1 and this is L2. Correct. So now if you see if theta, this theta is the angle in picture. This guy is hypotenuse, this guy is perpendicular and this guy is base. Similarly here also this guy is hypotenuse, this guy is perpendicular and this guy is base. So we have a relation, we know L1 we know this 1.5, we know theta. So we are some looking for something where relation is between H and P. So let's again go by our formula Pandit Badri Prashad. Hare Hare Bol. So H and P the relation is now with sin theta. Correct? So we'll use sin theta here. So in case one will say sin 30 degree is equal to P by H. P here is 1.5. And h here is L1 and sin 30 is nothing but 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 is equal to 1.5 by L1 or you get L1 is equal to 1.5 into 2 that is 3 meter. So this is my length in the first case. In the second case where it is for elder people 5 year plus, here also I will use the same formula sin 60 will be equal to P by h. Perpendicular here is 3 meter and h hypotenuse is length L2. Sin 60 is nothing but root 3 by 2. This is equal to 3 by L2 or I get L2 is equal to 3 into 2 by root 3. Correct? So let me rationalize this by multiplying by root 3 root 3. So this root 3 root 3 becomes 3. 3 and 3 cancels. So this is 2 root 3 meter. So in case 2, the length is 2 root 3 meter. So in case 1, he has the length of the slide will be 3 meter and in case 2, the length of the slide will be 2 root 3 meter. Let's take one example. The angle of elevation of the tower, top of the tower from a point in the ground which is 30 meter away from the foot of the tower is 30 meter. We have to find the height of the tower. Let's take this. This is the tower. This is a point that is 30 meter. So this point is 30 meter from the tower. Correct? And the state says the angle of elevation from this point to the top of the tower is 30 degree. So let's draw the triangle here. This is the angle of elevation actually. So let's draw this is the right triangle we get because the tower is vertical and this angle is 
40 degree we are told and this length is 30 meter we have to find height of the tower so if we consider theta let's suppose this triangle is abc i'll name this triangle a b and c if c is the angle of reference this is hypotenuse because side opposite to the 90 degree angle so this becomes perpendicular and this becomes base correct and height of the tower is x let's suppose now we want to find the relation between p and b by because p is x and b is 30 so we again go by the formula pandit badri prashad hare hare bol so p and b is in this one and this is nothing but sine cos tan this is tan so we we'll use the formula tan theta that is tan 30 degree is equal to p by b and that is nothing but x by 30 or tan 30 is nothing but 1 by root 3 is equal to x by 30 or what I get x is equal to 30 by root 3 we can rationalize this by multiplying and dividing by root 3 so this becomes 30 by 3 root 3 that is 10 root 3 meter and that is my answer so height of the tower is 10 root 3 meter very simple just try to understand the problem draw a right triangle and then try to see what you are looking for you have x you have 30 and you have tan 30 on derivation that is you have p you have b so since you have p and b you will go for tan 30 because tan is something which has p and b both just put this formula and get the answer very simple we'll take one more example a kite is flying at the height 60 meters above the ground this is a kite string attached to the kite is temporarily tied to the point in the ground this is a ground actually the inclination of the string with the ground is 60 degree so this angle it makes it 60 degree we have to find the length of the string assuming there is no slack in the string so what we can do let's form a triangle first this is the point of the kite this is the triangle we have and let's name this a b and c correct the question says the inclination is 60 degree so this angle is 60 degree height is 60 meter so this height is 60 meter is given to me correct we have to find what length this is the length so we have to find this length now since in this triangle right triangle abc if c is a reference this side is height this will be perpendicular and this side will be base correct now i have to derive relation between h and p because i have to find h and i have been given p any other angle again same formula pandit badri prashad hare hare bol so h and p is in this one and this is sine so we will use the sine so we will use say sine 60 degree is equal to h by sorry p by h right equal to p by h and p is here 60 and h is here the length of the string or sin 60 is nothing but root 3 by 2 is equal to 60 by l or what you get l is nothing but 60 into 2 by root 3 you can rationalize this by multiplying and dividing by root 3 what you get is 60 into 2 is 120 by 3 root 3 this gets cancelled 40 so you get 40 root 3 meter so length of the string is 40 root 3 meter very simple what we have done we have got the sign by sign because perpendicular was given we have to find the hypotenuse and the relation between perpendicular and hypotenuse is best expressed by sine theta so we have used sine theta correct thank you Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.